Now, in the medical setting, this is enormous for people in the hospital who might waste muscle, meaning you're bedridden and you don't want to atrophy, right? Let's say, well, let's say you're immobilized. Let's say you're in a cast, right? Like, what does this do for that? That's why they study this stuff, guys. They don't care if I could put on an extra two pounds of lean mass this year. They care, can they keep people from decaying in their hospital bed, right? Fractional mixed skeletal muscle persistence increase 5 to 17%. That's about 10% on average. So that's a real, real legitimate measurable bump in synthesis. Leucine flux. So that is a, another word for leucine breakdown. It did not rise. So the net effect was anti-catabolic plus it had a small anabolic push. What does that mean? means it didn't just help them keep muscle, it actually helped them build muscle. So why should you care? Well, when you diet, train hard, travel, miss meals like I do, the body loves to burn amino acids. BHB acts like a hands off the muscle, like stay off of that. Stay off of that. Use me, use fat instead. And that also makes sense in the fat loss data I presented earlier, while giving a small nudge towards muscle building less protein burned, and slightly more built. That combo preserves lean mass and supports better body composition in the real world.